everybody welcome back to another week of what's for dinner this week i didn't do too well i'm not gonna lie um by the time you're seeing this it's way past the week that i have recorded for it was easter week that i recorded for and um i don't know guys i just kind of let stuff slip away from me it was a hectic week just figuring out like I think I got a new work schedule that week, so I switched from like part-time to full-time, so we were just trying to figure out the dynamics of everything and get life sorted out, so dinner kind of slept away from me, what's for dinner slept away from me, um, and so yeah, this is just a composite of whatever we had for that couple of weeks, not just one, I think, I think it was like a couple of weeks in there, but anyways, let's go ahead and see what we had starting with Easter dinner. Okay, so for Easter dinner, we kind of did like a family potluck thing, we had the ham, some scalloped potatoes, lamb, dinner rolls, salad, um, bacon wrapped asparagus, deviled eggs, some corn casserole, and some mashed potatoes, because we didn't know if the little kids were going to eat the scalloped potatoes. And then here was dessert. Um, I wanted that whole strawberry pretzel salad, but apparently people were ready to fight. And then we also had an assortment of pies. There was apple, apple caramel, blueberry pie, cherry pie. There was ice cream in the freezer. And there was whipped cream in the fridge, so it was a good time. Hey, everybody. So tonight for dinner, we're going to be doing meatball sandwiches in various forms for various people. Um, so... The way that I'm starting this, I have this bag of frozen meatballs. I have them in a baking pan. I'm just going to bake them according to the directions after they're fully cooked. Well, they are fully cooked. After they're fully heated through, according to the directions, I'm going to add some pasta sauce onto it, throw it back in the oven for just a couple minutes till it's heated through. And then I will get started on... The different breads that we're doing okay because um we have like no actual sub rolls because i did not do grocery shopping yet for the week um because we just had easter and i didn't want to overload the fridge with all sorts of stuff so we have leftover hot dog buns that's going to be one form of sandwich we also have some texas toast that's frozen i can heat that up sandwich okay so i'm gonna get started on the meatball all right so we're pretty much done these are the girls plates so they have a hot dog bun with some meatballs i cut up zaley's and i topped hers with parmesan zuri does not like cheese like that they have some salad that's left over from easter so we need to eat that up and then i just gave them a stick of string cheese because i would have put mozzarella on the meatballs but i don't have mozzarella I have Fiesta Blend, I have Mild Cheddar, and then I have Mozzarella Sticks. So yeah, that's the best we're going to do for today. Okay, so for me and Gia, what I did is I warmed up the Texas toast just until it was like barely warmed through. Then I took um, like a metal spoon, basically this one, and I pressed the middles in, and then I poured meatballs in. So some of them might have two, some might have three, some even have four, depending on the size. And then I topped it with the string cheese. I just pulled them apart. So now I'm gonna put them in the broiler just until the cheese gets melty. Okay, and here is how my plate looks. So I have some salad and then these meatball sandwiches or whatever you want to call them, I don't know. But yeah, this is going to be dinner for, what's today? Tuesday, but I don't even think I've been keeping track of it like that. But this is dinner tonight. Hey everybody, so tonight for dinner we're having some boxed mac and cheese that I kind of just jazzed up and I threw whatever was left of the Easter ham in there. Um, this is the mac and cheese that I use. There's two boxes of that. And then I season it with some salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And then I put all of our leftover cheeses because I'm growing, gro growing? Yeah, absolutely. I'm growing. I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow. So I use whatever was left of this, whatever was left of this. We had some quesadilla cheese, but it was a full pack. So I just used a little bit extra cheesiness in there. And yeah, so this is going to be dinner. So I will show it to you guys in bowls. And here's how it looks. So this is going to be dinner for tonight. Hey everybody, so tonight for dinner we're keeping it extremely simple because we have a million things going on. So I just fried up some hot dogs, threw some chips and grapes on the plate and that is going to be dinner 
for the girls, um, we have some leftover. We have some leftover corn casserole from Easter, so me and G are gonna eat that alongside of our hot dogs. If he wants chips, I guess he could have that, but I'm not going to have chips. So this is dinner for tonight. Very quick, very easy, and we're gonna eat and literally head back out to do everything that we have to do today. Everybody, it is Friday. It's finally the weekend. Amen. Um, tonight for dinner, I'm putting in just this much extra effort. And I have been all week. Um, kind of using up some things that I needed to get out of the fridge. Kind of like doing something a little bit fancier looking. It's not really, but it's okay. So anyways, let me turn the camera and show you guys what I've got. Okay, so the first thing is I got this pork tenderloin in the freezer that I took out and thawed. And so I'm going to throw this on a sheet pan with some apples that were going bad. I really needed to do something with these. All of a sudden, the kids don't know how to eat apples as they are. So I had to figure it out. So pork and apples usually works out well. I had a bag of red potatoes that I just finally diced up and I'm just gonna season them. I don't know with what yet. I gotta look at my seasoning cabinet and see what I have that'll go well with this because I don't want the potatoes sweet because I will have the apples. So I'm gonna do the pork and the apples on one sheet pan and then I'm gonna do the potatoes on another. So I'll show you what I'm working with. All right, so here are my sheet pans. So on this one, I have that pork tenderloin and the apples. I did sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on the apples. I don't know, just a thought. And then these are the potatoes. So I ended up seasoning these with some seasoned salt, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and some smoked paprika. So I guess we'll see how that one turns out. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in a 425 oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, this should definitely be done by then and I will check the potatoes. They're red potatoes, so they usually cook a little bit faster than non-red potatoes. So they should be done as well, but we'll see. And this is how dinner came out. I thought I had a bag of broccoli in the freezer, but apparently I didn't, but that's okay. Um, this is definitely enough, and this is going to be dinner for Finally Friday. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here, and if you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody! Bye.